Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, a lot of people have been asking me recently, how do you unlock one of these... <laughs> I've seen a lot of people on the internet asking how to unlock three-digit combination locks without knowing the code to the lock. It's fairly simple, right? Your first step is to make sure you're wearing the thickest uh, pair of gloves that you can find so that you don't leave any fingerprints. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the gloves on. All right. So what you want to do um, is get your lock. So I have the code set to six six six. No reason for that. But basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to a random number. I'm not gonna know this. All right. So I have absolutely no idea what the code is now, right? So the first thing that we're going to do, this is probably easier without gloves, but I'm going to do it with gloves because, you know, extra challenge and all that. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start on the top number here. As you can see, if it focuses, there we go. As you can see, this number is seven, this number is nine, this number is six. Nope, that number is also 9. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use this one here and you're going to pull as hard as you can on this. Now you should get to one where it feels like it just clicks into place. Okay, so my 6 here, it feels like it's clicked in. It feels like that might be the right number. So now, what I'm going to do, instead of just going to the middle one, I go to this one. So again, pull as hard as you can, and try and find one that just clicks in. Oh, okay, so my, <laughs> my code was 694. Now obviously, if you try to do this with someone else's lock, um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, yeah, you're uh, you, you just don't do it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna randomize this code again. I'm gonna have absolutely zero idea what it is. Go down, you stupid thing. Right, I'm gonna randomize these numbers. I'm gonna have absolutely no idea what they are. Right. I don't know what it is, okay, absolutely zero idea what the numbers are. So we're going to do the same thing again, we're going to start on the top one, we're going to find the number that clicks into place. So for some reason my 6 seems to be the one that's clicking, so we're going to go to this one now, to the, the bottom one, and we're going to try the same thing. Don't know if you can hear that, but my zero is actually uh, loudly clicking. Um, usually there's no sound, but sometimes you do get sound out of it. So my zero was quite loud there. Um, and now we're going to the, go to the middle one. Okay, so my one feels like it's clicking in there. So um, now I've got my 619. My bottom one, um, my bottom one felt like it clicked in quite a bit. Oh, that should be on a zero, shouldn't it? Because the zero felt like it clicked in. Um, so the zero felt like it clicked in quite a bit. The one felt like it clicked in quite a bit. Not sure about the top one, so we're going to retry the top number. Okay, and that six seems to actually have locked itself in there. I can still move it, but it feels fairly solid in there. Uh, hopefully... That is the right number. Okay, so I've been trying for quite a bit, um, and it's gotten a little bit looser because I think I found the first two. Alright, so now that I've got the first two, it is very simple to find the next one. So I'm going to start, right, on the nine. Okay, and I'm going to pull as hard as I can, I'm going to keep turning it. I 
And there we go. The lock is unlocked. So as you can see, this method does work. Sometimes um, it can take a little bit longer than uh, intended. Generally speaking, it should only take about a minute. Um, I'm going to set this back to zeros. Three zeros. Okay. So now it's back on three zeros. Right? Um, so yeah. This method does technically work. Sometimes, sometimes it can take a little bit longer than you would like it to. But it works. Um, if you want to give this a shot, go ahead. If you have a lock that you already know the code to, I would advise not scrambling up the code just to mess around with it to try this because depending on your lock type sometimes this might not work so be very careful when you're doing that anyway that is it for this video um make sure you do not do this on someone else's lock without wearing your big thick gl anyway guys Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to check out some of my other content, um, I, it would be greatly appreciated. I make some very funny content. Um, if you want to check out the original version of this video, I will have a link to it in the description. Uh, I would advise against it, though, because, you know, while the original version is not quite as good. But if you want to see more epic content that is not lockpicking, check out the rest of my channel. I have some really cool gaming, um, I have some vlogging, I have all sorts of stuff, and it is all epic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. Show me closer